Hello everyone, Maramica here, and welcome to part one of Tantravelia by Edward North. Okay, so once you install this mod, you'll get this quest update here. I've heard people speaking recently about disappearances in a small town in southeastern Cyrodiil. Though the details seem sketchy at best, I was able to gather that the town is called Candleshire, and is situated on the southern shore of Lake Canulus. Apparently the remaining townsfolk are getting quite desperate, so perhaps I should travel to Candleshire and offer my assistance. Alright, so I'll pick the video up back or when I reach Candleshire. Okay, so I arrived here in Candleshire. Let's look at it on the map. You can see it's just south of Lake Canulus, like it said. It adds a map marker, by the way, once you read that little quest update. Forgot to mention that. And it's just south of Thundercliff Watch and Ancient Towers if you have that mod installed. All right, let's find someone to talk to. You look a little too obvious. How about you? Yes. Roderick Renato. I've heard about the disappearances. Oh yes, three of our adolescent residents have gone missing over the past few days. It's devastating to even think about it. If you think you can help us, you'll want to speak with Artemis Belmont, our town mayor. He can give you more information. When he's not visiting his brother's grave, he's in the Belmont home guarding his daughter Elsie. She's the only one left now. Oh, quest update. Please tell me about yourself. I fix problems around the village, a handyman of sorts if you will. I live here with my wife Tristy and our bright young daughter Aunt Alessandra. I wish she had taken after me sometimes, but Alessandra has a gift for magic and hopes to spend, attend the Arcane University one day. We encourage that. Tell me about the town's history. Gandalfshire was built in 428. A few of us that had been residing in Shaden Hall decided the city life wasn't what we wanted, so we came here. When we finished building, when we finished the building, we sold our homes in the city and moved our families here to the new village. Tristan Belmont was alive at the time, staying in the spare room at the Belmont Inn, that now serves as lodging for travelers that pass through. Unfortunately, he died defending the town against the. An attack from a rival that he and ours dealt with in the past. Artemis still can't let the pain from his brother's death go and spends time each day at his memorial which was, was erected by the lake in tribute. Since that fateful day we have been living in relative harmony each of us having tasks that we perform to keep things running smoothly here. The recent disappearances is the first real problem the town has had since its inception. Hopefully nothing like this will happen again. Good day. Okay. Let's see that quest update. Upon arriving in Candleshire and speaking with the townsfolk, I was directed to the mayor, Artemis Belmont, for more information. I should find Artemis and learn what I can about the situation. Alright, let's go find Artemis. How are you? I hope I can help. I've heard about the disappearances. I'm glad to see that people outside our village have heard about this already. Hopefully it will mean the swift return of our missing loved ones. A few days ago, the Renato's daughter Alessandra went out to, for a walk by the northern shores of the lake and never returned. The next morning, a few of us, including Alentes's daughter Juniper and the Martin's son Falcor, formed a search party and tried to find her. During the search, the two of them somehow got separated from the rest of us, and we never saw them again. We have no reason to believe that any of them would run away, but I myself have reason to believe that foul play is involved. What do you mean by foul play? The night before Alessandra disappeared, a very strange bosmer passed through the village and stayed the night at our inn. We generally don't turn people away, as our spare room serves as an important part of their, our income, and candle showers appear to tra appeal to travelers. The Bosmer seemed on edge, agitated, but needed a place to stay. In the middle of the night, I swear that I heard him leave the inn. 
I can't guarantee I wasn't dreaming, but I vaguely remember peeking outside and seeing him snooping around, especially by the Renato's home. The next morning, when we woke up, he was gone. A few hours later, Alessandra disappeared. I think he may know something about it. I will track him down and find out. That would be most appreciated, stranger. I cannot leave the town and my daughter unprotected, and the other families are in no shape to do it. The only information we have is his name, Thorvo, and that he was passing through on his way to Shadenall. If you can locate and find out what he knows, we'll do our best to provide you with some type of reward for your efforts. Before you go, consider speaking with the other residents. It may bring them some measure of comfort to talk with you about their missing kin. Thank you, friend. You've given us all a glimmer of hope in the face of sorrow and darkness we suffer through. Best of luck to you. Okay, quest completed. Sorrow in a small town. New quest, the herbal is packed. Having received the necessary information about the disappearances, I am ready to begin my search for Thorvo to find out what he knows. According to Argument Spellmont, Thorvo spoke of heading to Shadenall, so perhaps I should begin my search there. I, I can also speak further with Artemis and the other townsfolk before leaving if I wish to learn more about those that are missing. Alright. I think this, yeah, there's no quest marker, so this is a kind of not hold your hand type of quest mod. Well met! Care to talk about the situation? I suppose I could. While you try and find Thornwell, I'm going to speak to the others and try to come up with a plan. The woods to the north of the lake have become a bit dangerous lately. Until now, nothing else has happened, but we've seen things roaming there. If you travel that way, just be careful. Aside from speaking with the others, I'm going, not going to let Elsie out of my sight. She'll be staying inside. Please tell me about yourself. I'm the mayor of Gandalfshire and serve as guardian to the village. I live with my lovely wife, Corrine, and our beautiful daughter, Elsie. Your brother's grave is in town? Yes, my brother Tristan died many years ago defending the town. As a tribute, we laid him to rest in his favorite spot by the lake. We just finished building Countershire when an old acquaintance of ours decided to punish us by trying to burn it down. He also tried to kidnap our children in hopes of raising them as slaves and scullery girls. I still dread to think of how things would have been like had he succeeded. Fortunately, we were able to drive him and his minions off, but at great, great cost. Tristan suffered a mortal wound, yet kept on fighting. Our enemy, enemy placed a curse on him before fleeing, and with that, Tristan died. Because of the curse, my brother's spirit is restless. Many nights I can hear him calling, moaning in anguish. If only I could end his suffering. You too. Okay, let's see what's on this grave. Here lies Tristan Belmont, beloved brother and mentor to Artemis. He fought valiantly to his very last breath against a great evil that sought to destroy the town and his families and in the end fell with honor. Tristan Belmont. Alright, let's go talk to some of the other families before we end the video. What? Care to talk about the situation? Please, I'm so broken up about this. I can't believe our little girl is gone. Why would she do this? Why would she go into that dreadful forest? We've seen such terrible things wandering around these woods, but she went there anyway, collecting her alchemy supplies. She wouldn't listen. I know how important her studies are to her. I know that she has dreams of traveling to the Imperial City and attending the Arcane University. But she should have waited until the woods were safe again. Oh, my darling Alessandro, wherever you are, I forgive you. Just come back safely. 
Please tell me about yourself. I am the wife of Roderick the mo and the mother of Alessandra, our young wizard in training. I usually spend most of my time preparing the meals for the day. When I'm not doing that, I spend my time drink er, reading. Yes, lots and lots of reading. You could say I'm quite a scholar of of spirits. Yes. Okay, so if I ask about Candleshire, I'll get the same text from everybody. Be seeing you. What can I do for you? Care to talk about the situation? It's comforting to see that you're taking such an interest in our town's problems. I hope that you find my beloved Jun Juniper. She's a, she is such a sweet girl, takes after her father, and wants to be a hunter just like him. She can be a bit willful, but it shows in her strength. She has grown up so fast, and I'm sure... She could take care of herself now, but she'll always be our sweet little girl. Thank you for taking or for talking with me. Please tell me about yourself. I'm the wife of Andreas and the mother of Jennifer. I mostly read and bake during the day and try to share what I can with the other families. I try my best to help Andreas raise our little girl the way he thinks is best, but sometimes she can be a bit too willful to handle. Huh. So you're Genevieve Allen T. You too. By the way, if you haven't noticed, this mod is not voiced at all, and I'm going to have to read all the text, and there's a lot of text. Just a little FYI. Just, did, this mod, this house has a basement? Did the other house have a basement? I didn't see one. A little light. Wow, there's a lot of booze down here. And sleeping bags. Maybe the mother and the other one drank the cellar and the other one dry the other house dry. <laughs> Alright, let's go let's go talk to the other people. Belmont Family Inn. So this is the Belmont's Inn, huh? Is anyone else getting a Castlevania type vibe off this mod? Cause I sure as hell am. Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Good. The lowlands of the Great Forest rise to the upland plateau of the Colovian West. I've heard others say the same. Hmm. What's the news Green from the other parts Belmont. of Tamriel? They say go ahead, please. Care to talk about the situation? That would be nice. Sometimes it's difficult to speak with a stranger, but you're doing a great thing by helping us in our time of need. While I'm relieved that Elsie is safe, I weep for those that are missing. She, Juniper, and Alessandra are the best of friends and do everything together. Falcor is not really part of their group. They tend to pick on him quite often. However, he is the only young man in the village, so go figure. They're all wonderful, though, and to think that anything bad might have happened to any one of them is unconscionable. Please tell me about yourself. I am the wife of Artemis, the town mayor. We're raising our daughter Elsie to be his successor, as she has a, a gift for leadership and diplomacy. In my spare time, I dabble in alchemy and also run the small inn we have in our home. Hmm. Got a shop. Probably sells alchemy stuff. Uh, bed. 
We have a small room available for travelers that pass through our little town, and it's yours for the evening for 10 gold. Are you interested? Uh, no, thank you. Very well. Let me know if you change your mind. Good day. Elsie mm, Belmont. What? Care to talk about the situation? Okay, sure. It might be nice to talk about this with you. I sense I can trust you. I sense that I can trust you. Jennifer and Alessandra are my best friends. We play, we study, we sneak out late at night sometimes and play tricks on Falcor. I know that none of them would ever run away. Lately, however, it seems that we've seen things, scary things, roaming in the northern forest. Once we thought we saw a zombie. Oh, how I hope nothing terrible like that got them. I'm so worried about them. I'm sorry, I'm usually the level headed one of our group. My father the mayor my father's the mayor after all, but this situation is really hard to take. Now that this has happened, I'm not allowed to leave the house. Daddy will keep will be keeping me under lock and key until we have found them. Please be safe. Please tell me about yourself. I'm the daughter of Artemis. And Kareen, the town mayor and innkeeper. Someday when my father retires, I will become the new mayor of Candleshire. When I'm not outside having fun, I spend most of my time studying and preparing for the day that I am appointed. My best friends are Juniper and Alessandra, the other girls in the village. We spend a lot of time together and have all kinds of fun. We especially like to pick on the farm boy Falker. He deserves it, though, since he tries to peek whenever we go for our afternoon swim. I mean, we're all quite relaxed about nudity in this village, but I, it's still not proper for him to spy on us like that. Uh, tell me about the town's history. I was just a child when the town was built. You should probably ask my parents if you'd like to know more. Okay. So they're relaxed about, relaxed about nudity in this village. All right, that's going to wrap up episode one. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys later.